It's Trixie, and when you find yourself in a situation where you cannot believe what you just saw or heard, be it because it's very strange, funny, amazing, or offensive, you may end up saying, what the f***? But since the F word is considered pretty rude, some people alternatively say what the heck or what the hell. But what do Germans say? Well, firstly, instead of what the, which would be was der, die or das, we use was zum or was zur, being short for was zu dem or was zu der, depending on the gender of the following noun. So basically, in today's video, I'm gonna tell you how to say what the f root punch in German. Naming eight, eight, eight of those what the something phrases you could use. Let me tell you that some of them are very bizarre. So, little spoiler, in the end of the video you may be like, what the vulture was that? But let's not waste more time and jump right into today's topic. Eight funny ways of saying what the frozen yogurt in German. Many Germans, especially between the age of, let's say, 13 to 25, consider the English language pretty cool, modern and expressive. Some even like it more than German. For this reason, the word f or even the whole expression what the f is sometimes used by them as well. Isabine, what the f das ist doch nicht normal! This paved the way for a literal translation of the phrase sneaking into the German language. So you may also hear German teenagers and people in their 20s say Was zum Fick? However, was zum Fick is simply adapted from the English language and not really a German way of saying what the heck. So let's talk about the older and truly German expressions now. One phrase would be Was zum Donnerwetter? Meaning what the thunderstorm? And yeah, since we say what the fire extinguisher in situations of disbelief, it makes sense to connect it to a thunderstorm. Rain and storm can also leave big chaos behind, and when we say what the heck, then it feels as if exactly that just happened in our head. All our thoughts carried away like leaves on a windy day. A mind thunderstorm leaving us speechless. Was zum Donnerwetter ist mit meiner Bauchnabelfußersammlung passiert? Drei Jahre der Arbeit, umsonst! Another way of saying what the Fluffball would be was zum Himmel. What the heaven? Was zum Himmel habt ihr mit meinem Yorkshire Terrier gemacht? Wer hat Petunia gelb angemalt? Alternatively, was zur Hölle, what the hell, works as well. I guess both of these phrases are related to a person stuttering or shouting what the fridge magnet, experiencing something so incredible or agitating that he or she starts believing that a higher might must be involved in the current events. So this person directly addresses heaven or hell to ask for an explanation for this mess he or she is in. Talking about hell, who is it that lives there? Exactly, hell is supposed to be the realm of the devil. Leading me to the next German expression, which is was zum Teufel, what the devil normally used for very negative experiences. So far, we had a literal translation and phrases related to stormy weather or religion. Mm, interesting, but, you know, reasonable. So let's talk about the strange stuff now. Another phrase meaning what the fishing rod in German would be was zum Henker, what the hangman. Pretty brutal, right? If that's too dark for you, what about was zum Geier, what the vulture. Yes, you heard right. What the vulture? Or yet another bird? Was zum Kuckuck? What the cuckoo? Was zum Kuckuck macht diese saure Gurke unter deinem Kopfkissen, Tamara? Letzte Woche die Möhre, davor der Rettich. Du kannst das Papa und Mama doch einfach sagen, wenn du mehr Gemüse essen willst. I totally understand if you think Geier, Kuckuck? Die Deutschen haben doch einen Vogel. But let me explain. All three, the hangman, the vulture and the cuckoo have something in common. They are supposed to be symbols for the devil, the hangman as the merciless executioner, the vulture waiting for wounded and weak animals to die so that he can feast on them, on their souls. And yes, also the cuckoo, with some species known for being bird parasites, putting their own eggs in the nests of other birds, a reference to being selfish, sly and sneaky. So to draw a conclusion here, the German, what the Frog skin phrases are mostly religion related. Four out of eight expressions that I mentioned relate to the devil, hiding behind weird animal references that make you go, what the thunderstorm is going on here? What are the ways of saying what the f 
flesh eating plant do you know, be it in German or in any other language? Did you know that vultures and cuckoos are symbols of the devil? Because before I did this video, I had no idea. And in general, do you like the German expressions? All right, Babbits, I really hope that you had fun with the video. If so, please leave a thumbs up because that would make me really, really happy. If you like, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. And here is another video that you should definitely check out. Subscribe to Don't Trust the Rabbit for more videos. And in case you are awesome and you want to support my channel even more, you can also find me on Patreon. Your help would mean so, so much to me. Now I wish you all a wonderful day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!